actually, this is the original charism of our congregation. Way back, 18, 8, April 6, 1883, um, the, our sisters, the, our foundresses, Mother Rita, and kasama yung kapatid niya, pumunta sila dito para take care ang biktima ng cholera epidemic. But later, na, nag-focus kami sa ibang apostolate, which is the education. March 14, 2001, na-realize ni Sister Neset, our present um, Superior General, that to reopen again the original charism, which is Tahanan Mapagkalinga ni Madre Rita. And this is established on that year, 2001, on the birth and the, on the death anniversary of Mother Rita, so May 14, 2001. And for 15 years, we survived as a center for children in need of special protection. We cater children, uh, those who are victims of physical and sexual abuse, those who are abandoned, neglected, street family, street children. And of course, we accept children ages five to 11 years old, both boys and girls. And at present, we have 36 children, 28 are girls and eight are boys. And these children were in school, in a public school here in Bulacan, um, from, grade, from kinder up to grade 10. The children were also trained para maging at least, if ever, na they would be to, uh, reunited with their family, um, magiging, ano na sila, magiging productive citizen na sila. So we empowered them. Magpo-provide kami ng training. So we survived through the generous donation of the people around us. So may mga funding, pero not naman every month. So may mga funding from the foreign, pero once a year, and yung local government naman, may subsidy kami quarterly, the, government, the local government of Bulacan. So, yun, may ano kami. And then, most importantly, yung pong mga taong pumupunta dito, and they give us donations in cash or in kind. Well, I think the mercy is shown in our center of how we took care of the children. Well, especially with us, the sisters, sabi nga namin, hindi kami nanganak. But sabi nga, we developed them. We, we love them as who they are as a person. We took care of them. And pinakita namin yung pagmamahal na hindi naibigay ng mga magulang nila. And then binibigyan namin sila ng worth as a person. Nagmamahalan, we try to live in a community of friends. We live as a brothers and sisters, even if we come from different family. So